A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that the disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die. Just what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them. And we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning or good day, my dear brothers and sisters. Once again, I am Father Danichi and will be taking over Father Jason for the meantime to continue our Word for the Day reflection. And we are now in Word 49. Today, our Gospel is a continuation of yesterday's Gospel from which after Jesus asked, Peter, three times, do you love me? Jesus signified what kind of death Peter would have. He signified the death of Peter. And so, before their conversation ended, he gave him a command, telling Peter to follow him. Jesus said, follow me. Pero, in our gospel today, instead of responding to the command of Jesus to follow him, pero sa halip na tumugon si Pedro kay Jesus ng opo, hindi niya ginawa ito. Instead, he turned his back. He turned to the disciple on his back whom Jesus loved. It's Saint John. Alam mo yung oo na lang, sasagot na lang, lumingon pa, tumalikod pa, tinignan pa kung sino yung nasa likod. And it happened to be Saint John, the beloved. At tinanong ni Jesus sa kanya, ano ang mangyayari sa kanya? He asked Jesus, What is it will happen to John? Let us focus on the gesture of Peter here. That after Jesus commanded him to follow him, he turned. Lumingon. This is the word for today, the 49th word to remember, turned. When someone is talking, you don't turn your back. Hindi ka lumilingon. Tumitingin ka sa mata. Tinitingnan mo yung mukha. Tumitingin ka sa harap. Because if you will turn your back, this will signify three things. First, you're not interested with what is said of you. Second, you ignore the person talking to you. And third, you do not accept what is being told of you. 
in the case of Peter, I could say he is not interested of what is said of him because he is more interested of what is for John compared to what is for himself. Mas tinanong niya kung ano ang mangyayari kay Juan kaysa sa mangyayari sa kanya. Remember, Jesus only signified the kind of death that He will endure or He will have. So meaning, pwedeng hindi malinaw. Pinapahiwating lang. Peter could have asked. Peter could have clarified. But he did not do that. Instead, he asked, what is for John? He's more interested on what will happen to John to what will happen to him. He is more interested on what Jesus will give John compared to what Jesus has given of him. That is why Jesus told him, What concern is it of yours? Sa Tagalog, mas maganda. Ano sa iyo? O kaya, anong paki mo? At kung itutuloy pa natin, pwedeng sinasabi ni Jesus kay Pedro, wag mong pakialaman ang sa iba. Pakialaman mo ang sa iyo. Meron ka. Wag mong tignan ang sa iba. Hindi po ba? Minsan, may mga pagkakataong ganito tayo, yung nagkukumpara sa kung ano ang mayroon ng iba na wala sa atin. Nakikita ang buhay ng may buhay kaysa sarili nating buhay. Kaya nga, ang hilig nating magkwentuhan ng buhay ng may buhay, pakialaman ng buhay ng may buhay. Minsan din, napapansin natin ang biyaya ng iba kaysa sa sarili natin, biyaya. Lahat ito ay dahil nakalingon tayo sa iba. We turned to others instead of turning to God. Ganito po ang nangyari kay Pedro. Sa halip na makita ni Pedro ang plano sa kanya ng Diyos, mas tiningnan niya ang plano ng Diyos sa iba. Kaya ang tao hindi nakasusunod o nakatutupad sa plano ng Diyos ay dahil nakalingon sa iba. Kaya madalas naliligaw dahil nakalingon sa iba. Madalas nadadapa, madalas nagkakamali, at hindi nakatingin sa hinaharap ay dahil nakalingon sa likod o nakalingon sa iba. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the habit that our gospel would want us to change. Stop looking or turning to others. Stop turning our back to God. For we will not see the plan of God. And even our own blessing, we won't see it. Our own giftedness, beauty, and goodness if we will always turn to others. Instead, we are being invited to form a habit of turning to God or looking to God because a person who turns to God will always see the plan of God, will always see the blessings, giftedness, beauty, and goodness of one's self. Amen.